Hey, busy bees. Today, we're back with another book. And the title of our book is Hensel and Gretel, Ninja Chicks by Corey Rosen Schwartz and Rebecca J. Gomez, illustrated by Dan Santat. So let's pop open the book and fly through this adventure together. Hansel and Gretel, Ninja Chicks. To my favorite ninja neighbors, Nika and Alik, CRS. To David, my own stealthy ninja, RG. For Jody, DS. Once upon a menacing time, two chicks knew a fox was at large. Their ma had been taken and Pop was quite shaken, so Hensel and Gretel took charge. They trained in the art of ninjutsu and practiced their wing throws and blocks. They learned how to creep without making a peep so they wouldn't fall prey to that fox. One day, they returned from their dojo to a coop in complete disarray. The signs of a tussle showed someone with muscle had dragged their dear papa away. They quickly surveyed their surroundings. The fox had left prints in the dirt. Come on, we're not chicken. That fox needs a licking before our poor papa gets hurt. They tracked till they spotted a feather. It looks like we're on the right track. They kept up the chase, dropping crumbs just in case, so they easily find their way back. The forest grew twisted and tangled as Hensel and Gretel searched on. The light faded fast, and they noticed at last that the trail and the breadcrumbs were gone. They shuddered and groped in the darkness. We're lost, whispered Hensel with dread. They weaved and they wound and kept roaming around until they saw light up ahead. It came from a cottage of cornbread. Let's eat, Hensel clucked with delight. She nibbled away till she heard someone say, my dear, come on in for a bite. I'll whip up some quick teriyaki while we wait for the tea cakes to bake. Why not, Hansel reckoned, off guard for a second. Uh-oh. Then quickly she saw her mistake. She gasped and then dashed to the corner where Pop was confined in a crate. Watch out, Papa cried. You'll be chicken pot pied. She sidestepped, but it was too late. The fox plucked her up in a hurry and shoved her right into the pen. You're scrawny and tough, but you'll plump soon enough. For now, I'll just stir fry this hen. The fluttering hen looked familiar. It's Mama, cried Hensel. In shock, Hensel was scared, but she came well prepared. I bet I can jimmy this lock. Outside in the dark, Gretel listened, dismayed at the fox's misdeed. She climbed to the flue and squeezed her way through with ninja-like silence and speed. Oh. Then Gretel swooped in and snatched Mama and swiftly adjusted her stance. The fox took a leap, but with one feathered sweep, the chick boldly blocked her advance. Not bad, said the fox, striding toward them. Give up, Gretel clucked, undeterred. The fox said, surrender? No way, chicken tender. Your cheap little threats are absurd. 
The fox charged and grappled with Gretel, a flurry of feathers and fur. The fox held her tight, but Gretel wrenched right as something zipped past with a whirr. With the fox in a daze, Gretel vaulted as Hensel and Papa broke free. With one wicked spin, Hensel kicked the fox in. You're done with your chick frying spree. She slammed the door shut and then locked it. The fox grumbled, looking unnerved. You two ninja chicks got us out of that fix and justice, not dinner, was served. Look at the fox. From then on, they made it their mission to rescue, protect, and defend. They'd work night and day to liberate prey till bird napping came to an end. And that is the end of our story. What two brave chickens those were. And they never gave up. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you'd like to follow along for more adventures, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.